It's Nolan. What's going on, beautiful people? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Industry, your number one source for music and entertainment commentary and breakdowns. We got a little bit of craziness going on today that we're going to be getting into. As y'all can see on the thumbnail here, we've got Kai Sinat. Apparently, he's having a little bit of trouble with a, uh, let's just say, X rated adult actress by the name of Layla Red Cakes. And then we've also got rapper The Baby here. He's being called out by YouTube creator Lil Mike Jr., where he's allegedly been finessed out of about $20,000. And when I say finessed out of $20,000, I'm talking about Lil Mike Jr. is is accusing the baby of running off with his money, right? Now, I would have thought the baby had enough, but, you know, record sales been going down. People ain't really been listening to his music like that. He ain't really getting booked at the primetime shows like he used to. You know, rap game has slowed up for him. Not to say he's not doing anything with his time. He is still out here. He's still putting music out. He still has somewhat of a fan base. But clearly, that money is slowing up somewhere to where he's actually finessing content creators online for content, basically. You know what I mean? We're going to get into all that in a minute. We're going to start with this story on Kai Sinat and the adult actress Layla Red Cakes. Okay? So... As this thing goes, I don't know what the full extent of their relationship is, but they allegedly met somewhere back in October to November of last year and have had an ongoing relationship of some sort. I don't know if they called themselves dating. I don't know if they was cut buddies, if they was doing goddamn OF content without his face in it. You know what I mean? Whatever the fuck they decided to do really ain't my business like that. It only became known once she came to the net. She leaked some photos and videos of Kai Sinat the other day to the internet, apparently seeking a payment, right? I don't know what she expected payment for, um, but she's also coming out trying to call him P. Diddy Jr., right? So she's got ill intent all over the place, right? Because the intimate photos that she leaked, although she did cover them in certain areas, they were both but booty cheeks ass naked, okay? Again, they were covered in the appropriate areas, but there was enough implied nudity, as y'all would know, is called. To say they were having an intimate encounter, right? Now, she's been leaking text messages between herself and Kai Sinat, um, alleging that he had already put a down payment on the P. You know what I'm saying? He had already put a down payment down on the pump home before she even went to go to his crib. Now, I didn't know that Kai Sinat and them were in Atlanta, I guess, back last year when they met which was uh some sort of a collab that they did on his stream where they were talking she was like hey where are you at i'm in the a you know what i mean um why why are we not linking up why are we not uh you're not here with me type thing you feel what i'm saying so from there they started linking up i don't know if they was cut buddies boyfriend girlfriend you know what i mean what the fuck but nonetheless, this is where things kind of take a head, right? So basically, within these leaked texts, Miss Layla Red is basically showing some sort of conversation between her and Kai, where he is inviting her over to his crib, right? Um, the way that it was shown, it looked like it was old text messages because it seemed like it was a first encounter type thing. He's like, yo, you're going to come over and chill, she like, yeah, I can. Let me finish up. Let me get some gas. All this different type of stuff. He's saying he, that she could bring a friend because, of course, you know, he got homeboys, all this type of stuff. Um, but then in some of those texts, you can also see that uh, there is some confusion about um, some sort of payment that she was owed prior to even linking up with him. So I don't know if they... <laughs> I don't know if they linked in New York or I don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? But the information alleges that they had a agreement to link up. She was going to go see him. He sent her to Addy, which, again, I did not know he was in the Atlanta area. She goes over there eventually. Um, there is some talk about him paying her some money. 
There is some talk about NDAs being signed and stuff like that. And if she brings a friend, her friend is going to have to sign the NDA as well. All of these different things. In Kai Sanat's response, he also speaks on an NDA. So at least there is some consistency there in that conversation. Y'all know I don't like inconsistencies if I can help it. So I at least see both parties acknowledging NDA and a sexual relationship of some sort. All right. That's that's all I really need to know. <laughs> Cause number one, Kai Sinat, you out here slipping, my brother. You out here fucking up, my boy. All the women out here that are available to you and you want to get with an OnlyFans cam girl that does backyard pornography. I'm not saying that she's not worthy of love. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. But I'm also saying. Get you get you get you somebody that ain't going out you. You know what I mean? Try to find somebody that has, you know, maybe privacy. I think that's the I think that's the minimum. Somebody that enjoys privacy. Somebody who doesn't want their business and their uh, sexual orifices and stuff like that out in the street. Because if they're out that, let me not say that. You know what I mean? But a lot of these rappers, a lot of these entertainers, they find themselves, especially these big streamers. We see Kai going through this. We've seen DJ academics out here getting exposed by women that he's dealt with that are also um, pass arounds in the industry slash adult entertainers. Um, I'm not saying that all adult entertainers are these types of people. It's clear that that's not the case, right? Because there's a lot of them that they do their job, they, you know what I mean, whatever it is that they do, and they go back home and they, you know what I mean, they live their lives. But when you see this woman's character play out on camera, when y'all see her actually, you know, putting this stuff out here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I know he's young. He's out here getting money. He's not really thinking as clearly as he could be. Let this be a mother effing lesson, but um, let's get into Layla Red and what she has to say about Kai Sinai, and we're going to get into his response. All right. I think that's the bare minimum that we could do and just try to try to go from there. Shall we? All right. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Let me mute up real quick. Court. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the news, the ad, the videos. Man, you know what some be cat when all a can say is let's not talk about it. Uh, it's a finesse. Sh Man, ain't no finesse. Sh you played your sh though. You was supposed to pay me my other half to keep quiet. You did it. I hit you up. You didn't want to respond. You thought I was gonna take the little chump change that you paid me not to say nothing. No, I need all my funds. Fuck is you talking about? Or I'm just gonna put this all over the world and I'm gonna get my funds from everybody else. Oh, we take the people to court. I'm ready to take you to court, little P Diddy Junior. Fuck you talking about? You tried to sell me to one of your homies and all that. Don't forget about it. I got all that in the T too. Receipt for that too. I ain't even told them what you paid me for. Hmm. I'm sure they'll love to know how New York get down. Sue me then. You won't get too far. And then. I want to take a pause for the cause because she said, I ain't even told them what you paid me for. Now, she's alleging that Kai Sinat paid her in the upwards of $5,000. I haven't gotten, I, I didn't get to that part yet. And I believe there was an additional five that she was supposed to be paid. I don't know what that $5,000 was for, if that was just for a, you know, just a transactional interaction. You know, if you get what I'm saying, if that's her going rate to pull up for a nigga or what the deal is right so she hasn't told us that but she also calls him p diddy jr she also makes it seem as though she was perhaps mishandled i guess that's the best word that i could use at this time to not uh incriminate anyone without having all the facts but that's what it sounds like she's alluding to i don't know if that would be true but again, Kai Sinat is going to come out and respond and debunk a few things. We're going to see how this thing plays out, but I'll let her continue from here. When it's all said and done, you're going to wish you would have just paid me my money. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was going to come back with a story saying he going to sue me. How else was he going to look good to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. 
Y'all so funny. Y'all believe anything in my say. Say the sky is fucking purple, you gonna believe it. Ain't nobody suing me. He lying. He gets capping. He can text my phone right now and ask me to eat my pussy. He's sorry. Please take it down. Stop playing. <laughs> Another thing. If if your house and all this stuff is under NDA and all this shit, and you can't record and all this shit, why did you call me back three weeks ago to come sign the NDA then? And promise to pay me money after that and before. You don't try to flip this around. You got exposed because you didn't come with the second half of the payment that you hit me up about. Let's tell about how you hit me up about all of this. Now who extorting who? Man. Will you this why this why I say just get you just get you a nice wholesome young lady. Somebody who has some discretion about her, man. I mean, come on, dog. You couldn't see you couldn't see through y'all encounters like just having conversation. Cause again, I'm not gonna show the text messages because she's scrolling through them real fast. You gotta really stop and pause and do all this extra shit that I don't feel like doing just to see what they're talking about. But you can see in their uh in their text thread that she's coming across as money hungry she's coming across like she's trying to hold something over him already just for her to come over you got him saying yeah let's just be cool and just come just come over like you said you was gonna do i don't know what the deal is i don't know what the fuck kaisa not got going on to be all the way a hundred hundred thousand percent correct you know what i'm saying because it do sound like you're hiding something in them texts he said that the number that she put out is allegedly an old number. That don't mean shit. If it's an old number and you still got it in service, it means that you can have it on another phone that you use for private conversations. So I don't know what the fuck you got going on, young man, but you need to tighten the fuck up. You need to get it together. I'm going to let her finish, though, and we're going to get to your, your shit. All right? Hey, what you owe? So the debt is not due no more. Duh. Did y'all know that selling pussy in New York is legal? Oh yeah, Vegas too. First of all, to all who know me, y'all know I'm not going nowhere without getting a mother. So you know, if I was even there in the situation, I'm getting a mother. Period point blank. But to try to hush me up and keep me quiet and not even come through with the come through man like y'all gonna know soon like i'm just i just gotta learn how to how to, how to say this to y'all i just man this y'all favorite stream but you know i ain't want to be the one to break the bad news but man grown men pay for pussy that's all i'm saying All right, y'all. So that's what Miss Layla Red Cakes had to say. She says, grown men pay for the kitty. I guess depending on how you look at it, everybody feels that way. You know, even in a relationship, you paying for something. But I don't necessarily look at, the, look at it that way. Um, I really want to know what she's hiding, what she's covering up. She says, y'all going to know real soon. Um, I believe her social media was knocked down temporarily. I think people thought that she deleted it herself, but she's right back up and running as of today. So she says that he had her channel or had her um, Twitter knocked down. There's some other tweets that we're going to go through in just a minute, which are up to date as of today. But I'm going to let the uh, Kai Sanat video roll where he defends himself and speaks on this scenario and everything that's going on. Uh, gives his account of what's happening without giving up too much information. And then uh, he speaks on how he plans on defending himself, uh, whether that be in court mostly or just um, having receipts of his own. So let's hear what Kai Sanai has to say in this moment. All right. Do you not think I am now 10 steps ahead of everything that I do? Do you not think... I know that I'm one of the biggest streamers to walk this fucking earth and I'm not 10 steps ahead 
I'm sorry because I'm I'm so humble, but I don't want I don't want to snap, bro. But I'm not ten steps ahead of everything people do, and say I'm ten steps ahead of you. Okay, first things to first, shorty. Do you know what an NDA is? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, which you signed, Kiara Rush. You signed that, Kiara Rush. You did. You did, and it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever ever talked about. It's cool though, cause you 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 let shit out, right? Wait, and lie, by the way. I understand the I understand the verbiage. I understand the usage of an NDA, but to say it protects you from everything that you've ever talked about. What would you need protection from, young man? Just a thought. I don't know. I'm not accusing you of shit. But I would love to know what you need protection on. You're a liar! 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 You're a liar! You're a liar! Next! Next! Oh, no. Wait, hold on, Kiara. What did you post to me, Kiara? Not only did you sign an NDA, but you also, while I was sleeping, butt-ass naked... Decided to just post me online. Okay? Now, what do you call that, ladies and gentlemen? Revenge porn. Now, those who don't know what revenge porn... Okay, she didn't... She didn't... She didn't... She, she blocked the shit out of shit, okay? For those who don't know what revenge porn is, revealing or sexually explicit image or videos of a person posted on the internet, typically by former sexual partner without the consent of the object and in order to cause. Okay? Oh, wait. There's more? Or... Now, despite what happened in January, I've made it my duty to never, ever be lied on again in my career. Do you hear me? I made it my duty to never, ever be lied on again in my career. I may be fucking dumb when I'm on the stream and shit, but I'm not a dumb nigga for real. You must have not remembered as you were talking to me in our last encounter. I don't know if you noticed, but you... were recorded with voice 4K audio of you threatening me to post images for money. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't think I was 10 steps ahead. Oh, when, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, when my, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, you, oh, you didn't think I, 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 I record shit, right? Hold on. Run the audio, your honor. Let me cook on these niggas real quick. Let me cook on these niggas real quick. Run the audio. Listen closely, please. Here we go. And you took a picture of me without my consent. Naked. So? Revenge porn. I ain't posted. That's revenge porn. You th but you're threatening. Yep. You're threatening to. One more time. You're threatening to, though. One more time. But you're, th you're, you're threatening to. One more time. I know, but it's still a crime. Okay. It's still a crime. I'm not messed up, though. That's, Call a, police. that's what I'm saying. I'm not messed up. Call police. It's still a crime, yes, though. I don't post it. Call the I'm police. Sure. The thousands of people yeah, I can send it to before I know, but you'll get in trouble for that. How? How? It's coming How? from you. You're the source. How would I get you, in you've trouble? Ad, you've, the source. Text messages. You've admitted. Where? I don't have any text messages. You've, admi phone. you've admitted. Nothing I have on this phone. Yeah, but, bro, it makes no sense. I'm just telling you, I'm not blackmailing me. Not blackmailing For a photo. Mm -hmm. For Okay. Not only do I have that in 4K, correct? Now, she's panicking right now. Kiara, I know you're watching this. Hey. <laughs> huh. Hi. Okay. Now look, Kiara. Here's the thing, Kiara. You probably like, oh no! Hell no! He can't do that shit! He recorded without my insect! What the fuck is going on? Oh no! I live in Georgia, bitch. I do not live in New York. Why this nigga walking around like he working a stand-up comedy stage? What the fuck going on, man? I'm confused. I'm not understand. I understand. I'm comprehending what's going on, but I'm not comprehending the energy there. <laughs> like, bro, you can't be riding that high and mighty that you now trying to work the stage like you, <laughs> like you Bernie Mac at goddamn Def Jam. Come on, man, simmer down, stick to the facts. Let's stick to what's going on. I do not live in motherfucking Vegas, bitch. Read this law, bitch. In-person conversations. I think it's very interesting that he mentioned Vegas as well. Because um, it seems like they may have linked up in Vegas also at a certain time. Um, so, 
I don't know. Maybe she lives in Vegas and maybe she just comes to Atlanta from time to time. That could also be a thing. It's something about that Vegas thing that that is interesting to me because she mentioned Vegas also in some of her shit online. But of course, prostitution is legal in Vegas, but not Georgia, not Atlanta. An individual can record in-person conversations where either the person is a party to the conversation or at least one of the participants has consented to the recording. According to Georgia Code, 16, 11, 62, 66. All right. So that's Kai Sinat basically breaking down Georgia code. Um, the ability to record any conversation between yourself and any other party, according to Georgia law, you can record conversations in person. You can record conversations via phone. All of those things, and as long as you are a consenting party, the other person does not even need to know and or consent in order for it to be admissible in court if needed, right? So that's his whole defense. He's also put up text messages with her. He's also gone through his uh, cash app thread and, and basically said that he didn't pay her no money in October, didn't pay her no money. Uh, he paid her like, he sent her fifty dollars for an Uber to go see her. To um, excuse me, for her to go see him at his residence, um, and there was no other payments. He showed other money that he sent out to people. However, Miss Layla Red's rebuttal is: What about just a couple weeks ago or earlier this month? What about in April of this month when that five thousand was transferred into her account and she actually showed? A screenshot of what looks like a payment, right? She put it in her story. This payment was sent April 2nd, 2024 at 127 a.m. from Kai Sanat. Um, received 5,000 transaction number, everything. I'm going to take that off the screen. Other people online are saying that they looked up the number that's associated with that account. When you go on Cash App and you look that number up, blah, 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 blah. you see Kai Sinat, registered, photo, everything. Now, I'm not saying it's for sure Kai Sinat. It could be somebody who set up a Cash App account and des decided that they wanted to uh, impersonate him. She could have given somebody the five thousand dollars to send over to her and then she send it back. You know what I'm saying? Or they send it back or however they're doing it. So it could be just a, a big fucking um, elaborate fake. You know what I mean? Plan to show an exchange of money, because what she's basically trying to say is, how are you going to take me to court when you're out here paying? uh for sex, right? You can't go to court and sue me for a crime in the midst of you doing a crime. Like that doesn't make no sense, right? So she says, if we're, if you're taking me to court and you're expecting me to go to jail for extorting you, I guess we're going to be in jail at the same mother effing time because you out here paying for the kitty cat. Again, I cannot say who's right or wrong in this scenario. I'm only saying and reporting what's out there as of today i believe that this is going to continue to be an ongoing story so let's go to miss layla red's twitter where she's back online as of today like i said she was knocked down and just see what she has to say right she says i can't wait until y'all see this nigga ain't never gonna take me to court i'ma update y'all every day like no court yet right somebody in her uh mentions who uh, added her, she retweeted, it says like, nigga, you cannot take her to court, you admitting to committing a crime. Someone else says, going to court for tricking is crazy. Someone else says, buying in Atlanta is a crime. They both going to jail for prostitution. This is her threat. 
Again, somebody typed in the number associated with that transaction. Kai Sanat comes up. Cash app Kai Sanat. I would think that's his. But that's just what I would think. Right? So they're saying, read all the messages, type the number in on Cash App. He sent her $5,000 and a black truck to pick her up. So we can also confirm that she was picked up in an Uber black truck. Mm -mm. Ain't that about a B. She says, LMFAO, okay, let me go to bed so y'all can rest y'all brain. I'm waiting for you, Kai Sanat, LMAO. Someone else says he's only showing transactions from 2023, but not this year. Sheesh. I don't know, man. She even has video of Kai Sanat admitting about his number. So let me just, it's a very short clip. Let me just play the audio for y'all real quick. That's not even a number I even use. So I don't, she just, that's my, that's a number that's fucking old as shit. So it don't, it don't matter. But tomorrow I'm going to check. She says he even admitted the phone he showed was not the same phone, clowns. So there's another number that's being verified. And although I'm not going to show the phone number, it is, it is being made public by Miss Layla Red Cakes. She says, so y'all think he linked with a porn star without paying LMFAO. That's what y'all really dumb to think. <laughs> Again, I'm not on her side, but we've seen other celebrities get outed for this same shit. Um, I think Dave East a couple months ago got outed by a known escort um, out in New York. He wanted to link up with her. She said, yeah, I'm down to link, but you got to pay me X amount of dollars. Right. He said, yo, you tripping. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm just trying to chill. She says, if you want, if you want to chill, pay my fee and I will come running. Davey said, nah, you lame as hell. Da, 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 da. This is not, these are not direct quotes, but these are just, you know, basic conversation dialogue points. He, he proceeds to <laughs> he proceeds to uh, insult the lady. Next thing you know, Dave Beast is in the blogs getting outed. She said, these niggas is broke as fuck. You want to come chill with me? You know my job and you don't even want to pay. What the hell is wrong with you? Clink, clink. Nigga, use your thinking cap. You thought I was going to come with you, come chill with you because you a B-list or a, a D-list celebrity? That should be even more reason why you paying. I don't know. Miss Layla Red Cakes comes back this morning, says, good morning, guys. Still not in jail. She's fucked up, y'all. She says, when the biggest streamer in the world pay you for see and lie to hide the truth. She said, I would have kept it playable if I got paid fully. Maybe she said I would have kept it player, but she wrote playable. So, I don't know, y'all. We're going to see how this thing continues to pay out, play out. She's, she's back to selling explicit videos online now that she's back on. This is where I exit the conversation because I ain't trying to see that shit. But, uh... Best wishes to Kai Sanat and everyone involved. Hopefully y'all can come to some resolution. If you owe her another five, nigga, pay her another five. Uh, I think you said you make damn near uh, 100K a month or some shit crazy like that when you was talking to Speedy Mace. Pay the five, nigga. Pay the five. Because this shit can only get worse for you. The best thing that can happen for you is that the shit go away. Because at this point, public opinion is going to corner you the people that really love you are gonna say that you ethered her ass on live and the people who are looking at this with a little bit more of a uh inquisitive eye per se might say i don't know it looked like you paid for the cat look like you trying to finesse her out of what she's owed and then she's gonna continue to badger you online because she's still 
allegedly owed money, which means she's going to keep talking. She's going to keep making videos. She's going to keep reaching out to the blogs. They're not going to make her pay because she's got a salacious story on a big enough star and it's something that's already been posted. So they're going to have no problem posting updates about the fact that she keeps coming back talking about you, especially if she keeps having juicy stories to boot. But again, best wishes to Kai Sanat and to Layla Red. I hope both of y'all live prosperous lives in your profession. Okay. All right, so in other news, we've got the Lil Mike Jr. and the baby situation, all right? Now, for those of y'all that don't know who Lil Mike Jr. is, because I wasn't too familiar with him in particular, he is a YouTube creator that's kind of known for doing those 20 on one videos. If y'all seen those videos with the rappers in the, in the in all white background where they're evaluating the woman that they would like to, uh, you know, spend time with, I guess that's the best way I could put it, you know? They pop in the balloons or they doing like these different things. So there's a lot of different channels that are doing this on YouTube, but he has one of them, right? He's had, uh, he was trying to get the baby on there. He's had Boosie on there. Um, he had an issue uh, at one point with Krishan Rock on there. I guess his homeboy pulled up and stole the interview from him or some bullshit, which is a very interesting thing. Um, so he's had some reputable people come on his platform, and I guess the other day, the baby pulled up to do an episode, and he was paid half up front, however, and then I guess he paid him the other half on arrival, and something popped off, the baby walks off set. And then Lil Mike Jr. comes out with this whiny ass video. I hate to call it a whiny ass video, but I'm only saying that because I'm not even sure if if this shit is legit. I think they're in a scheme together to try to go viral, but I'm going to let this thing play out and see what y'all think about this shit. Okay? All right, y'all. Let's get it. Oh, I could do this shit, bro. My grandma gave me 10000 let me pull this shit up again, cause uh, I stopped it. I'm, I gotta pull this back up. All right. Yes. I paid the baby twenty thousand dollars, and he walked all set, bro. He walked all set, bro. I'ma be real, bro. Like I'm defeated, bro. Like I don't know how long I could do this, shit, bro. My grandma gave me ten thousand dollars out of the twenty thousand, bro. Because she wanted to see this video before she go, bro. She battling cancer right now, bro. Like, and I did this shit for her, bro. My great grandma, bro. Like, I'm at a loss for words, bro. Can y'all please tag the baby and tell him, please run this video back, bro. Please run a video back, bro. I put my all into this YouTube, bro. I'm 19, bro. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, bro. A lot of people don't make it to this position, bro. Please. Bro. Oh my God. I just deleted it, bro. Just delete it. Just yeah. delete it. I paid the baby $20,000 and he walked off. All right. So that's him. I, the bro count on this motherfucker would be um, astounding if we counted how many times he said bro on this shit. I... I don't know how niggas get to a point in life where they can't say a statement without throwing bro in there, but I would hate to be one of them. But anyway, that's setting the scene. He paid the baby twenty thousand to come do his show. Um, he's got a he's got a lot of successful videos on his page. I thought he would have had the twenty without asking his goddamn grandmama to give him ten k. But you know, I don't know everybody finances. This shit sound fishy to me, but maybe I'm just hungry. Anyway. Let's hear what else he has to say. So he tag he puts a post up saying, Tag the baby. Please don't scam me, bro. I paid you 20k, Brody. Please don't fuck me over. Please. Okay. Now there's some people online that are alleging. That he's pulled this move before. Let me read the rest of his caption. The baby ran off with 20K. I paid him for a video. I did everything I was supposed to do. Please don't scam me, bro. This is my livelihood. This was supposed to be my blow up video. You've already blown up multiple times. I've looked at your YouTube, nigga. 
What the fuck are you talking about? You got multiple videos with millions of views on them. How you going to blow up bigger than that? You was going to get a billy? Fuck out of here. I, I, I hate to talk to you like that, but I, I, I smell scam. Okay? My way out. How am I supposed to make it out if I lose all my videos? I'm 19, bro. Please, God, why does everything have to go bad? You look older than 19, too, but I'm gonna, let's keep going. I don't even have a full video. I spent my last on that, and this happens. Why me, God? What did I do? The baby, please don't run off with my bag. Please, I'll fix whatever you need, bro. That was my last. This my dream. I was working towards this just for it to be taken away from me again. Please come finish the video. Please don't scam me, bro. I support you, bro. Please don't fuck over me, bro. I play all your music. All right. So that's Lil Mike Jr. Let's hear what the baby has to say for himself before I go any further. Y'all nigga want to know the idea, go to idea, y'all nigga. Because I'm feeling good tonight. I'm on some other shit. See what I'm saying? I was on some other shit the other night, too. That's why I just, I just left peacefully. I said, hmm, this is preposterous. I'm out of here. But since, you know, you getting on here and you, you making your little story up and all that, and, and now you, you, got, you got people playing with my name, like I just came and just robbed you. Check this. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the $20,000 that you gave me for my time for that hour plus that I spent it up. And I'm going to give $1,000 a piece to them 20 girls that you paid to let a lame nigga like you disrespect them, you know what I'm saying, for that little YouTube check. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that 20000 that you gave me. I'm going to give it to them girls, them queens, you know what I'm saying, because they don't need to be having no lame ass nigga like you. Play with them, know it. Yes, sir. The young nigga want to know that I Okay, so he's saying you lame for bringing the situation to social media. Says he's gonna give away the twenty k to the other women that were in the or to, to the women that were in the video. Uh, basically, saying it was twenty of them. I gave them a stack a piece to make it right. You, sir, on the other hand, are lame as fuck. You need your ugh, wow. And uh, he tags him. He says, "Little Mike Junior." You could have went viral the, the right way, posting the video of me pressing your partner with them big ass silver shorts on. That's the type of shit the people want to see. Quit lying on your granny and let these folks know your entourage fucked your bag up. Need your ass what playing on your grandmama name, boy. Where your morals at, kid? Again. I don't even fuck with the baby. I've, I've in my earlier days of doing YouTube commentary definitely clout the baby but the story is tracking because as i said when this story started getting some legs online people started coming out saying hey man he uses this story about his grandmama giving him 10k all the time he ran this same fucking play back in january bar for bar word for word on some soldier shit soldier but that ain't all the baby had to say he got some more Boy, you're through. You're over with. It's done. That's day money. That's them queens money, nigga. Yo, it ain't 20 verse me no more. It's 20 verse you, nigga. It, it, you're through. And I'm telling you, too, I, I was just talking to my partner, Rico, when I left from that motherfucker the other night. We we sat outside the hotel, talked for a little minute. Like, I ain't got no business even, you see what I'm saying? It easy as that, that quick little... That quick little 20 ball is to pick up. I ain't got no business. Look, look at the type of little nigga I was just in there dealing with. This little nigga, you, you're lying on your grandma. You're playing. You, you, you sick. You're a sick little dude. But you. All right. So it seems that. He's having a moment of clarity, like, damn, for the little 20000 that I went and picked up, I shouldn't have even been there. I could have got that easier. You could have went somewhere else for that motherfucking twenty. I fully agree. You could have hosted a party with JT for that, nigga. Shit. You could have went to her backyard party and turned up and got the 20. 
you could do a show in your fucking hometown if niggas will allow you to. I don't know how they feel about you out there. And get 20. Like, the fuck? I don't know. Like I said, the way people believe in that little story you made up, I can only imagine. People probably be believing this 20 verse 1 shit like this shit for real. Like you don't be paying these girls to do this. So, so this, this we gonna do. Whoa. This is a little dude. So, there's another layer to the to the uh to the story, you know. Some of these people be watching these 20 v1 videos and actually believe that this shit is real. Actually believe that it's not just entertainment. Cuz I I've, I've seen the shows, I've seen them on multiple channels, I've watched them. Not always the 20. I think 20 is a lot of motherfuckers. I've seen 10, I've seen, you know what I mean, find your match whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I number 1 be like, "Where are y'all finding these niggas? I know it can't just all be your friends or people that you know." Right? Y'all must be putting casting calls out or something for these people to come on here. They don't always be dressed to impress. Some of them be looking bummy. Some of them shoes be dirty. You know what I mean? Scuff ass sneakers and shit. Like, man, where y'all find these niggas, man? Then you got folks that be looking left and right trying to see what your neighbor doing, like we in the goddamn church. Trying to see whether or not they want to pop the buck, pop the balloon and stuff like that. And it's like, well, if you're interested, keep your balloon. If you're not, pop that motherfucker. Why are you looking left and right to see what another motherfucker going to do to make your decision? Whack. Right? But then again, it's like, well, why are y'all even there? So he say, y'all are fools to believe that this content is real. These people are being paid to be there. So... Whatever you see on this camera, whatever you see on the other on the receiving end of this content, remember, it's entertainment. It's not real. The baby comes back. He says, case closed. Ain't got nothing more to say about it. You believe a nigga that'll play on his grandma, that's on you. And whatever niggas want to do, let me know so I can speed it up. Basically saying, if you really want a problem, if you really want to get to the physical aspect, you already know. Like them, love them, hate them. The baby is a very in-person up close and personal type of nigga whether that be knocking a nigga out his drawers whether that be popping a nigga in self-defense at the walmart popping a nigga in self-defense in his home he's an up close and personal type of guy better or worse love him or hate him send him to hell or heaven that's what he about he says, ladies who was there, tap in. We're going to split this 20K and leave this lying ass nigga where he at. And when I catch your sneaky ass, I'm going to show you some love so you know how much I care. <laughs> oh, man, that is a sneaky way of saying I'm going to whoop the shit out of you, boy. I'm going to show you some love so you know how much I care about you. Right plan, wrong person. Love Mike Jr. Keep hustling, boy. So... There we have it on that side of the game. So clearly, the baby's not in on a joke. Clearly. I thought he was, but upon further review, it seems he's not in on the joke. It's just this little Mike Jr. guy. You're, making, you're giving New Orleans a bad name, little bro. You're giving him a bad name. You're making him look bad out here. All your videos, you posting all these money phones, all these little... little uh, these little girls, is pro you probably paying them to do the photos with you and stuff, making it look like you out here pimping, doing big shit. But you out here crying over 20K from the baby when you got all this motion going on, supposedly. Now, with the shit, that's why I tell y'all everything that I see online, I'm prone to believe it's a motherfucking skit until proven otherwise. Until some shit come out in court, some real documentation, till somebody get their motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? So they pockets hit the concrete. You're going to have to show me something is real before I give you my full, you know what I mean? Sympathy campaign for you to get what you owed. Cause a lot of these niggas nowadays, they're doing anything to get eyeballs. The game is engagement. The game is clicks, right? Uh, impressions. And a nigga like me, I just don't respect all that shit. I understand it, but you don't get no respect. You don't get no love. You don't get no, you know what I mean? 
You don't get no validation in this jurisdiction over here at Inside the Industry. I'm going to tell you that straight up, little Mike. Little Mike. Get your shit together, man. That's all I got for y'all today. Let me know what y'all think of all of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Become an insider. Become an insider, man. It is so much better on the inside than the out, right? We're very inclusive over here. Everybody's going to get joked on. Everybody's going to get a joke back. But we don't try to take it too far. And I'm, I'm an example. If I take it too far, I apologize. You know what I mean? So we, we, we good over here. You know what I mean? Become an insider. Stay tuned for more content. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so that you can get all updates. And I will see y'all on the next one. All right? Much love and respect. Enjoy the evening. Peace. King of my city in cul de sac. Come and I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Uh, niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully abreast. I was ready for years and they doubted me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross my mind, I came back with some battery. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble.